Wayne. I'm aboard the Cobia 256 center console. One of our new 2013s that we just got in. As you can see, we've got a fiberglass hard top on this boat. Black haul collar, stainless steel rug rail. Come on aboard. Welcome aboard the Cobia. As you first enter the Cobia 256, you'll notice a, a nice doorway here with magnetic hold on it. Nothing to break, nothing to go wrong. Nice magnetic closure there. As you look here, you'll see easy access to your fuel water separator. As we come onto the board, board the boat, we'll notice that we have a live well right back here in the back. A nice live well. Notice that we've got good seal all the way around this stainless steel hardware there. We come onto the boat in the stern. We've got a seat that folds away, or you can have your seat come on up, and you've got a nice rear bench seat. Notice the width of this seat. A lot of the other rear bench seats are small. This gives you the ability to sit all the way across it. Nice place for your legs. It's not like you feel like you're falling off of something when you're sitting in this seat. Very secure. Seat easily folds out of the way. Right out of the way. And then, if you need access to the bilge area, which is always, always hard on most all boats, is getting in the bilge area. You've got big access to get down in there change any of your pumps, do any kind of maintenance work that you need to, but a very nice access to the bilge area. When we come all the way over to this side, you'll notice that you've got your battery switch. Underneath it here, raw water, nicely marked. If we go over to the other side of the boat, we'll see our fresh water. Welcome to the helm area of the Cobia 256. We'll start off by showing you some of the nice features that they have. Heavy duty, big helm, leaning post here. They call it a tackle center, I believe, in the brochure. You've got your rod holders across here, and you've got storage. Good places for tackle. Any of your tackle can go in there. You've got drawers. And then in this space here, you've actually got a cooler. If you come around this way here, you can see the seat lifts up. We've got a cooler. You can put your sodas, or you could just take and add this area for more stuff that you can put in. We come here, we've got a footrest. You can get up on here and very easily to sit here and see, have good vision all the way across the boat. Good high seat that you can see all the way around. Okay, on the Cobia console area here, you'll notice that you have very massive area to put your electronics in. Flush mount, two screens here if you like. You've got Yamaha's newest fly-by-wire technology on this boat. Steering wheel knob on here. Storage underneath. Your two Yamaha command link gauges. LED lights on the ends of these switches so you can see if power's on. Then you've also got a 12 volt receptacle here. Yamaha key switch, trim tabs, and then you've got a remote for your Sony stereo. Two cup holders here to hold your favorite beverage. What I like most about this boat is when you've got the stuff and you throw it up here. Maps, sunglasses, throw your glasses and stuff up here want to go for a swim won't come sliding off if you take off. On the 256 Kobe, you'll notice a fiberglass top. We call this a fiberglass hard top. One, two, three, four, five rod holders. Got your lights, spreader lights back here. We've also got LED lights here, built-in speakers. What I like most about this is you've got storage. Not only on forward, but you've also got rear storage. Good storage in the top. Kobe has got a flat spot up here so you can install your radar. Very thoughtful, very easy on install. As we come forward on the Kobe, the front half of the hard top, we've got another light that shines forward, LED light that shines down. What I like about this hard top is big beefy tubing. This is no little teeny tubing on this. 
nice solid tubing, polished tubing, put together very well. You'll see four legs that attach right to the floor, good solid insulation by the Cobia boats. As we've made our way forward on the Cobia boat, we're now to the front of the console. The front of the console area is key for having a good time. Places to sit, people can lay out, sit there and get the wind blowing in their face. Underneath of this seat, you'll see another cooler. More storage for sodas. And as we sit here again, notice the good quality vinyl that Cobia uses on their boat. Again, not a little teeny seat. A good seat, good comfortable seat if you wanted to share it. You've still got room for two people here if you want to share the seat, but a good comfortable seat. As you can see, we're sitting in the bow area of the Cobia. Nice cushions, good cushion package, good backs. We got handrails to hold on to. And these rails are, are so they don't get in the way. So if I want to get up and I need to pull an anchor, or I need to do something, I need to fend off something, they're flush, they're out of the way. Another good thought from the Cobia people, a good thing to hold on to. If I've got to get down and I'm in rougher water, a good rail to hold on to. And it's sturdy, it's stout. It's nothing that's going to fall apart. Something that you can really pull on. Again, nice cushions, love the color. And then as you come here, they've really thought it out now. The cushions can come off. You can stow these and leave them at home. Same skid on here that's on the floor. So if you want to stand up here and throw a cast net, or whatever you want to do, good anti-skid there. Again, they didn't lack, slack off here. You've got stainless steel latches, seal finished on the bottom. So easy cleanup. Say we throw a bunch of fish in here and we get blood and stuff, easy to clean up all this stuff here. Very good quality boat. In the bow area, you'll also notice, well, what the heck is this? This actually comes out. You say, well, why does that need to come out? The cushion will come off separately. So if you want to leave your cushion at home, you can. This is a filler. So when I'm out in rough seas and I'm trying to pull an anchor in, now I'm not standing up here. I've got a good secure area to pull my anchor in so I feel nice and secure as I'm pulling an anchor in in rough seas. You'll notice as we come here, a massive, massive anchor locker. 600 foot of road, no problem. Pop up cleat to tie off. And a, a hoss pipe there. Not really a hoss pipe, but a cutout to put your anchor road through. So you can put your door back down. That's your anchor out, doors back down nice and safe. You'll also know, notice a light down below. Uh, gives us a good ability to light up the front of the boat early in the morning or late at night. Here we got a few more features that I want to point out. Cup holders, both sides, stereo speakers as well. So not only do you have a place to set your drink, you've got speakers up here so you can hear the music. Some more storage. The boat is just packed with storage and features. I want to show you this one here. This has got a stainless steel shock to hold it up. Back, you'll see your fresh water tank. Forward would be your gray tank for your macerator for your head. And this area here, nice area to store bumpers, fenders, lines, all that kind of stuff there. Painted, finished off very nicely. As you can see, we're down in the head compartment of the 256 Cobia. We've got a marine head here with a macerator. You've also got your stereo system in here. Access to easily get to any of your controls, your gauges, anything like that. And then this over here is our circuit breakers. So instead of having circuit breakers out on the helm where they get wet or get moist, you've got your circuit breakers in here. You've also got a um, vent here for your head compartment. So if you want to vent while you're in here using the head. On the Cobia 256 with the fishing features, we've got padded bolsters for your knees, your legs as your group are fishing. You've also got a tow rail here. We did that as an extra. That's an option. Anything like that, but good rod storage right there. The tips of the rods can actually get up inside and be protected. Room for three on each side. We're on the outside of the Cobia 256. Ours is powered by a single Yamaha 300. What I want you to notice, I thought this was a great feature that Cobia came up with. And you've got a ladder that hides out of the way. 
in some of the competitors' boats, you'll see a ladder that sits up like this. You trip, you got your feet, you're hitting this ladder because it's sitting right up on the deck, not with the Kobe. They thought about it. Again, another great feature that the Kobe people have came up with. Now this makes this nice and flush. If you're on a dock and you just want to walk off and you don't need the ladder. But if you do need the ladder and you put the ladder down and you're climbing up from outside, again, a nice flush area just to get right on the boat. Good thinking by the Cobia people. I wanted to point out a few features on the Cobia, some things that go unlooked. But if we look down here real close, we come down to our, to our drain plug. A drain plug that screws in nice and tight. You don't need a wrench or anything like that to tighten it up. Just your fingers. And then look at this. When it comes out, you don't have to worry about losing it. It's built right into the boat, O-ring to seal it up. Another good feature thought about by the Cobia people. Cobia puts their Linko trim tabs in a recessed pocket. Nice feature that they have here, flush to the back of the boat. Anybody climbing in and out of the boat, getting up to the boat, these aren't sticking way out here to cut somebody or to get in the way. I'd like to thank you for watching our video here at Central Marine on the Cobia 256.